Schroeder, es el color para línea de equaciones. Already we are seeing, but today we are going to see the topic as test for consistency. Means, since we are solving linear equation of the format ax plus by plus cz plus d equal plus d equal to zero means we are studying intersection of planes. We are taking three plates and we are finding the intersection of three plates. The previous exercise we have seen, system is consistent and has unique solution. Unique solution means all the three planes meet in a point. Now, it is not necessarily all the three planes must be intersecting in a point. They may intersect in a point, they may intersect in a line, they may, inter they may coincide each other or they may not meet at all. So, there are four chances. That is, all the planes, all the three planes may intersect, may meet in a point. All the three planes may meet in a line. Also, all the three planes, since we are dealing with only maximum of three planes, we are talking only about three planes, all the three planes may coincide. Finally, all the three planes may not meet at all, may not meet. So these are the four choices we can have when we are asked to find out the intersection of three planes. Suppose if the three planes are meeting a point, they have a unique solution only. That means they have only one solution. For these two cases, since they are like may either they meet in a line or they may coincide, in that term they have Infinite number of solutions are many solutions. Infinite number of solutions. This is the case when they meet in a line or a plane. Either they may coincide or if they meet in line, there are infinite number of solutions. Finally, if all the three planes, if they are not meeting, they will not be consistent. So hence they will not meet at all. So no consistency here. No consistency. So they won't meet at all. So how to find out using this rank method is find working rule. Find rank of A B that is augmented A B. Rank of augmented A B and Rank of A, case 1. If rank of A B equal to rank of A equal to N, N means number of unknowns, then in that case, system is consistent and it has unique solution. This we have seen in the previous exercise. Unique solution means planes will meet in a point. Now, suppose if rank of AB is equal to rank of A but less than N, that is now it's not equal to the number of unknowns, if it is less than N, then they may meet in a line or they may coincide. Whatever it is in both the cases, they have infinite number of solutions. Therefore, System is consistent and it has infinite number of solutions. Then case 3. If 
rank of AB is not equal to rank of A, then they are inconsistent. Therefore, system is inconsistent and therefore there is no solution at all and there is no solution. That means the planes do not meet at all. So these are the three possibilities we can have. Either they meet in a point, either they meet in a line or a, they may coincide or they may not meet. If they meet in a point, then it will have only one solution, that is unique solution. If they meet in a line or plane, they may have infinite number of solutions. That means rank of A equal to rank of A B equal to less than M. And if their ranks are different, then there is no solution. Therefore, the system is inconsistent. So, using this, we are going to study this exercise. That is exercise 1.6. Test for consistency. And again, to solve. And again, solve the following. Under one, first one. X minus Y plus 2 is at equal to 2. 2X two plus Y plus 4 is at equal to 7. 4X minus Y plus is at equal to 4. We know how to do. That is, let me write this one as 1 minus 1, 2. 2, 1, 4, 4 minus 1, 1 into x, y, z equal to 2, 7, 4. This is of the form a, x equal to b. Now, let me find augmented of a, b straight b. Augmentation means 1 minus 1, 2, 2, 1, 4, 4 minus 1, 1. And finally, 274 also. This is called augmentation. Whatever it is, now I am having a matrix of order 3 cross 4. So, we shall find the rank of that matrix. So, how shall we find? So, let the first row, first number is 1. So, there is no problem. Augmented AB is equal to First row is 1 minus 1, 2, 2. Second row it is 2. To make this one is 0, if I multiply this one by 2 and subtract, this will become 0. But only thing is, I cannot do for a single element. I must do for row itself. That is R2 minus 2R1. Similarly, R3 can be written as R3 minus 4R1. So, only for to facilitate that only, we are making this number, we are trying this number to be 1 always. If I need this number to be 0, then I have to multiply with that number. If I need 4 to be 0, then I must multiply it over 1 by 4. So what is R2? 2, 1, 4, 7. R1, we multiply by 2, 2 minus 2, 4, 4. When I subtract, I have to change the sign. 0, 3, 0, 3. So the second row is 0, 3, 0, 3. Now going for third row, R3 as it is, 4 minus 1, 1, 4. R1 I am multiplying by 4, 4 minus 4, 8, 8. When I change the sign, minus, plus, minus, minus, 0, 3, minus 7. R3 is 4, 4 minus 8 is minus 4. So, 0, 3, minus 7, minus 4. Now, 1, 1, below to that one zero means I must have at least one more 0. That means this 3 must become 0. So, shall I write 1, minus 1, 2, 2, first row, no problem. Second row, 0, 3, 0, 3. Second row also, no problem. Now, R3 is written as R3. This 3 must become 0. So, I can operate with R2. R3 minus R2. So, we do straight is 0. 3 minus 3 is 0. Minus 7 minus 0. Minus 4 minus 3 also minus 7. 
now we can see we reduced to a kilogram form that is 1 1 0 to that 1 0 0 to that 1 0 so this is called a kilogram form so we cannot reduce further therefore rank of AB is not the zeros and high numbers so rank of AB is 3 when I omit the last column then that will become matrix A the matrix A rank is also 3 so rank of A is 3 so rank of AB equal to rank of A number of unknowns is x, y, z that is also a null of 3 that means system is consistent and it has unique solution if it is unique solution I must solve the equation also I must find the solution also but we know how to think today to take R3 R3 implies minus 7 is at equal to minus 7 is at equal to minus 7 by minus 7 is at equal to 1 so R3 gives me Z similarly R2 implies X is 0 3Y Y is Z is 0 Z equal to 3 so 3Y equal to 3 Y is again 3 by 3 1 now R1 implies x minus y plus 2 is at equal to 2. Substitute for y, substitute for z, then it is x minus 1 plus 2 equal to 2. 2, 2 cancels x equal to 1. Therefore, solution, we found the unique solution x equal to 1, y equal to 1, z equal to 1. 1 minus 1, 0, 2 equal to 2. So, it satisfies also. So this is how we have to solve. But we did this one. This is what we did in our exercise 1.5. So this is for unique solution. Now we shall go for next problem. Under one, second problem. Hey, under one, second problem. 3x plus y plus z equal to 2. x minus 3y plus 2 is at equal to 1, 7x minus y plus 4 is at equal to 5. So we write in matrix form 3, 1, 1, 1 minus 3, 2, 7 minus 1, 4, 3, 1, 1, 1 minus 3, 2, 7 minus 1, 4, into x, y, z equal to 2, 1, 5. 2, 1, 5. Now, this is of the form AX equal to B. Now, augmented AB. While writing augmented AB, shall I try to write the first row to be 1? So, let me take the second equation. 1 minus 3, 2, 1. Then it is 3, 1, 1, 2. 7 minus 1, 4, 5. So, what I did? I interchange R2 and R. These two equations are interchange. That's all. Now, so that the first row, first term being 1. Now, augmented AB is given by 1 minus 3 to 1. This 3 must become 0, isn't it? So, R2 is written as R2 minus 3 R1. Similarly, this 7 must become 0. So whatever it is, just multiply that number with row 1, 7 R1. So R2 is 3, 1, 1, 2. Multiply first row by 3, 1, 3, minus 9, 6, 3. Subtracting minus plus minus minus 0. 9 minus 1, 10, minus 5, minus 1. It is 0, 10, minus 5, minus 1. Similarly, R3, 7 minus 1, 4, 5. Now multiply with the 7, 7. 7, 3, 7 into minus 3, minus 21. I must multiply the first row by 7. 7 minus 21, 2 7 are 14, 1 7 are 7. Changing the sign, minus plus minus minus 0. 20 minus 10 minus 2. It is 0. 20 minus 10 minus 2. Now, first row there is no change. Second row I got 0. So, 0, 10 minus 5 minus 1. 
Now this 20 must become 0 because I need one more 0 into the row always. So R3 is known as R3 minus 2 R2. R3 is 0, 20 minus 10 minus 2. Multiply R2 with 2, 0, 20 minus 10 minus 2. When I change the sign, see, all are becoming 0. So it is 0, 0, 0, 0. Now see, one row completely became 0. So in only two rows I have non-zero numbers. Therefore, rank of AB is 2. When I omit the last column, that becomes the matrix A. And its rank is also 2. Therefore, rank of AB equal to rank of A equal to 2, which is less than N, isn't it? Because N is number of unknowns, it is always 3. Therefore, in that case, system is consistent because ranks are equal. System is consistent. And it has infinite number of solutions. Okay. So, we proved that this system is having in the infinite number of solutions. But if it is infinite number of solutions, how to find that solution? That we have to solve also. Because I have to solve this also. Whenever the rank is 2, fix one variable as constant, that is, let z equal to k. Whenever rank is 2, fix one variable as constant. So I am fixing z as k. Then what will happen to row 2? Then row 2 implies because row 3 is 0, thing 0. 10y minus 5 is at equal to minus 1 becomes 10y minus 5k equal to minus 1. Then 10y is 5k minus 1. Then y is 5k minus 1 by 10. This is the value of k, sorry y. Now r1 implies x minus 3y plus 2 is at equal to 1. It is x minus 3 instead of y. 5k minus 1 by 10 plus 2k because we are saying k is at as k equal to 1. So x minus 50 plus 3 plus 3 r it is x. Just shall I write this one as 3 into 5k minus 1 by 10 minus 2k plus 1 and take everything to the other side. It is 15 k minus 3 by 10 minus 2k plus 1 that is 15k minus 3 minus 20k plus 10 by 10 it is 15k minus 20k is minus 5k plus 7 by 10 therefore x equal to 7 minus 5k by 10 so in that case I can say solution as x equal to 7 minus 5k by 10, y equal to 5k minus 1 by 10, is it equal to k. When I assign different values for k, I will get different answers. That is when k equal to 0 implies x equal to 7 by 10. Solution straightly, solution x, y, z equal to 0 means 7 by 10 minus 1 by 10, gamma 0. When k equal to 1, we can give any numbers, isn't it? Because infinite numbers are there. When k equal to 1, solution x, y, z equal to 5, 7 minus 5, 2 by 10, 5 minus 1, 4 by 10, comma 1, or 1 by 5, 2 by 5, comma 1. When k equal to 2 implies solution, x, y, z equal to, when I put to 7 minus 10, minus 3 by 10, 5 2 is 10 minus 1, 9 by 10, comma 2, etc. I can have plenty solutions. So, that it is known as infinite number of solutions. So, this is the solution. This is how we can find when there are infinite number of solutions. This is post number 2. Under 1, Third problem. 2x plus 2y plus z equal to 5. x minus y plus z equal to 1. 3x 
plus y plus 2 is equal to 4. Now, take the numbers 2 to 1, 1 minus 1, 1, 3, 1, 2, that will form a matrix. x, y, z equal to 5, 1, 4. Now, augmented a, b is 2 to 1, 5, 1 minus 1, 1, 1, 3, 1, 2, 4. Now augmented A, B is, let me make this one to be here, that is shifting R1 and R2, so the first row, first element being one, so R1 and R2 is interchangeable. It will be easy for us to do the further calculation, so that only 2, 2, 1, 5, 3, 1, 2, 4. Now, the first row, first element is one. Now, this is 2, so it's simple, isn't it? R2 is written as R2 minus 2R1. Similarly, this 3 must become 0, so R3 is written as R3 minus 3R1. Now, R2 is what? 2, 2, 1, 5. Multiply R1 by 2, it is 2 minus 2, 2, 2. When I change the sign, minus, plus, minus, minus. 0, 4, minus 1, 3. 0, 4, minus 1, 3. Similarly, R3, write R3 as it is, 3, 1, 2, 4. Multiply R1 by 3, 3, minus 3, 3, 3. Changing the sign, minus, plus, minus, minus. 0, 4, minus 1, 1. It is 0, 4, minus 1, 1. Now, first row, first element is 1. So, no problem. Second row starts with 0, so again no problem. But third row, this 4 must become 0. So shall I subtract safely? R3 is written as R3 minus R2. So that 0 minus 0, 0 will be maintained. 4 minus 4, 0. Minus 1 plus 1, 0. 1 minus 3 is minus 2. So now we are going to Jekyllan form. Now, in all the three rows, there are numbers. Therefore, rank of AB is. 3, isn't it? Now, rank of AB is 3. But when I close this column 3, it is fourth column, and that gives the rank of A. Now see, there are only two rows, there are numbers, therefore rank of A is 2. But rank of A is 2. That means both the ranks are different. Rank of AB is not equal to rank of A. Therefore, in that case, system is inconsistent and it has no solution. So, this is how they can do. So, we are very clear that these three planes never meet. Therefore, the system will be inconsistent and therefore, there won't be any solution at all. This is how. So, the rank method is very simple to find out whether the planes are meeting or not, if they meet, how they meet, everything we can find out. Next, under one, fourth graph. 2x minus y plus z equal to 2. 6x minus 3y plus 3z equal to 6. 4x minus 2y plus 2z equal to 4. Now taking the matrix format, 2 minus 1, 1, 2. 6 minus 3, 3, 6. 4 minus 2, 2, 4. Right. This is one matrix. And this is x, y, z. And this one is 2, 6, 4. Take the argument at AB. 2 minus 1, 1, 2. 6 minus 3, 3, 6. 4 minus 2, 2, 4. I am not having first row, first element as 1. Even then we can go for the calculation that is for our convenience only. If it is not available, we can leave it as this and we can proceed as this. 
Now, first row, first element is not to 1, it is 2. Even then, let me have as it is 2 minus 1, 1, 2. Now, R2 is written as R2, this is 6, isn't it? But I multiply this one by 3, then becomes 0. So, R2 minus 3, R1. Similarly, R3, this 4 must become 0. So if I multiply this one by 2, that is R3 minus 4, 2 R1. So what is R2? 6 minus 3, 3 is 6. Multiply R2 by 3, 6 minus 3, 3, 6. When I subtract minus plus minus minus 0, 0, 0, 0. So everything is becoming 0. Similarly, R3 is 4 minus 2, 2, 4. When I multiply with 2, 4 minus 2, 2, 4. When I change the sign, minus plus minus minus C. Here also, everything is becoming 0. Now we arrive at the eggplant form here itself. And there is only one row. Therefore, I can say rank of A, B is 1. Also, rank of A is also 1. Therefore, rank of A, B equal to rank of A equal to 1. But it is less than n. Therefore, the ranks are equal. Whatever it is. So, system is consistent. And it has infinite number of solutions. Whether it is 2 or 1, it is less than n. Therefore, infinite number of solutions this will have. In that case, remember when the rank is 2, we fix to one cons, one variable. But here, when rank is 1, I must fix it two constants, two variables. So, shall I fix as that x equal to s, y equal to t. Then r1 implies 2s minus t plus z equal to 2. Therefore, z equal to 2 minus 2s plus t. Therefore, solution x, y, z equal to s comma t comma 2 minus 2s plus t. When s equal to 0, I will get when t equal to 0, I will get one equation like that. We can have plenty of equations. That's all. So, we are saying when what will happen when rank is 3, what will happen when rank is 2, what will happen when the ranks are different. Now, we are seeing what will happen when the ranks are 1. There are also infinite number of solutions, but you must not fix two variables as s and t. Then you will get e z in s and t, so that you will be getting infinite number of variables, infinite number of solutions for different numbers, for different values of this s and t. So, with that, this first problem is forward. Now, we shall go to second problem. Find the value of k. For which the equations kx minus 2y plus z equal to 1, x minus 2ky plus z equal to minus 2, x minus 2y plus k is at equal to 1. Have First one, no solution. Second one, unique solution. And third one, infinitely many solutions. So, I have to find out this value of k so that when we have this, when this uh, equation system will have no solution, for what value of k the system will have unique solution, for what value of k the system is having infinite number of solutions. All these things we have to find out. But if you know it over your time, we just go as usual. So shall I write this one as k minus 2, 1, 1 minus 2 k, 1, 1 minus 2 k into x, y, z equal to 1 minus 2, 1. So in that case, augmented a, b is k minus 2, 1, 1. 
1 minus 2k 1 minus 2 1 minus 2 k 2 k 1 k minus 2 1 1 minus 2 1 1 minus 2 k 1 minus 2 1 this is our argument now we shall make this first because k is unknown to us so we shall make this first row to be 1 but what i am doing i am interchanging r3 and r1 When I interchange R3 and R1, then argumented A B becomes equal to one minus two K one, one minus two K one minus two, K minus two one one. I'll say why I'm interchanging R3 and R1 very precisely. That is, we should go for finding rank. So one minus two K one. Now this one must become zero, isn't it? So shall I say R two is written as R two minus R one straightly. So one minus one zero minus two k plus two one minus k minus two minus one minus three. Since it is straight subtraction, I am doing straightly. But R three is written as this k must become zero. So R three minus k R one, isn't it? So R three is K minus two one one. When I multiply that one by K, K minus two K, K square K. Change the sign minus plus minus minus. It is zero. Two K minus two. Shall I write one minus K square one minus K? So it is zero. Two K minus two. One minus K square one minus K. Now. I need this term to be zero, isn't it? Just add these two minus plus two k minus two k that will become zero. Minus two plus two will become zero. In order to make this zero to be easier only, I interchange their R three and R one. So now see, I am writing as R three is as R three plus R two. Then it is augmented A B becomes. One minus two k one. It is zero minus two k plus two. One minus k minus three. Whereas this becomes zero. My plus two k minus two k minus two plus two it becomes zero. One minus k square minus one plus k because we are just adding with plus one plus one. One minus k minus three. One minus k minus three. It is minus k minus two. Minus k minus two. R three is plus R three plus R two steadily. We shall try to simplify this. Is it k square? I am just adding. One minus k square plus two minus k, so it is minus k square minus k plus two. If I add this one, shall we factorize this? It is minus of k square plus k minus two. Minus two, it is two one side plus two minus one, so it is minus of k plus two into k minus one. Shall I say this one as k plus two into one minus k? So let me have a Rearranged matrix. That is, half under A B. Once again, I am writing as one minus two K one. Second one is zero. So we write this as two minus two K one minus K minus three. It is zero zero. So I say that one as K plus two. Into one minus k. Similarly, minus of k plus two. This is the final matrix I am having. Now we shall go for because we are the regular form. Now let me go for case one. In this case one, what I am going to do is let me put this one minus k as zero and in this k plus two as non-zero. We shall see what happens. That is. 
k plus 2 is not equal to 0 means some other constant. So we say the constant has some lambda. Then have a rough one, it is 1 minus 2 k1. 1. 1 minus k equal to 0 means k equal to 1, isn't it? So k is becoming 1. So it is 2 minus k equal to 1. When I put 1, 2 minus 2 is becoming 0. So 0, 0. 0 minus 3. Similarly, 0, 0. This is 0, I can think is 0. And this is some other constant minus lambda, so to say. Now see, rank of a is 3. Now all the three rows are nine numbers, so rank of A is three. But if I omit this column, rank of A is becoming two. So in that case, rank of A B equal to three, whereas rank of A is equal to two. Therefore, rank of A B is not equal to rank of A. Therefore, system is inconsistent. And it has so this is what we can control. So whenever k is equal to 1, this system becomes inconsistent and has no solution. Now, case 2. What will happen if both things are not equal to 0? That is 1 minus k is also non-zero. k plus 2 is also non-zero. So everything is non-zero, isn't it? In all the cases it is non-zero, therefore system is, therefore rank will be 3, isn't it? Rank of A B equal to 3, rank of A is also 3. Therefore, rank of A B equal to rank of A equal to 3, which is equal to N. Therefore, system is consistent. And it has unique solution. Now what will happen if both become 0? That is case 3. 1 minus k equal to 0. k plus 2 is also 0. So this one is 0, this one is 0. So if k equal to 1, this will become 0, this will become 0. So in that case, rank of a, b is not 2, it becomes 1. Or it becomes 2. Rank of a, b equal to rank of a equal to 2. Therefore, rank of a, b equal to rank of a equal to 2 is less than a. So in that case, system is consistent. But it has min infinitely many solutions. That has infinitely many solutions. So these are the three possibilities for the value of k. When this 1 minus k alone becomes 0, this has no solution. If k plus 2 and 1 minus k both are non zero, they have unique solution. If both are zero, they have infinitely many solutions. So these are the possible values of k it can take. So with this, this problem is forward. Next, third problem. Investigate the values are lambda and mu the system of linear equation the system 2x plus 3y plus 5 is at equal to 9 7x plus 3y minus 5 is at equal to 8 2x plus 3y plus lambda is at equal to mu have tell me have no solution second one unique solution third one infinite number of solutions so same thing as we did in our previous problem we have got decay. Now there are two unknowns, lambda and mu. So shall I state 2, 3, 5, 7, 3, minus 5, 2, 3, lambda into x, y, z equal to 9, a, mu. Therefore, augmented a, b is 9, 7, 3, minus 5, 8, 
2, 3, lambda, nu. This is the augmentation. Now, I don't have one, so we shall proceed with this existing matrix itself. So, augmented AB is equal to, first row is 2, 3, 5, 9. Now, this 7 must become 0, isn't it? So, shall I multiply this one by 7 so that it will become 14 and this one by 2 so that this will also become 2. Therefore, R2 is written as 2R2 so that it will become 14 minus 7R1 then only that will become 0. So, multiply the second row by 2, 14, 3 2s are 6, minus 10, 8 2s are 16. Multiply the first row by 7, 14, 3 7s are 21, 5 7s are 35, 9 7s are 63. Changing the sign, minus, 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 0, minus 15, minus 45, minus 30, minus 6, 7, 5 minus 1, 4, which is 0. Minus 15, minus 45, minus 47. Now R3 is written as this is also 2, this is also 2. So straightly R3 minus R1. Shall we do straightly? 2 minus 2, 0. 3 minus 3, 0. Lambda minus 5, nu minus 9. Now see, I got the declam form in this method, in this stage itself. So, one, one number in the first row, below to that one zero, below to that one more zero. That means we attain the reclam from now itself. So no need to go for further reduction. So from this we can conclude. Now, what will happen? If both if lambda minus pi is zero and mu minus nine is non-zero. That is case one. If Lambda minus pi is 0 and this will become 0. So, 3 numbers will be 0 in the third row. Then this is non zero. In that case, rank of AB will be 3, isn't it? Rank of AB is 3. But when I hide the last column, this is 0. It means rank of A is 2. Rank of A is 2. Therefore, rank of AB is not equal to rank of A. Therefore, system is inconsistent and it has no solutions. Case 2. What will happen if both are not equal to 0? Lambda pi is also non-zero. Mu minus 9 is also non-zero. Both are non-zero means they are numbers. They are also numbers. They are also non-zero numbers. Therefore, rank of A B equal to 3. And the rank of A is also 3. Therefore, rank of AB equal to rank of A equal to 3, which is equal to N, isn't it? Therefore, in that case, system is consistent. And it has unique solution. Now, case 3. What will happen if both are 0? That is, lambda pi is also 0. Mu minus 9 is also 0. That means everything is 0. Means one row is vanished. That means rank is 2. Rank of AB is also 2. Rank of A is also 2. Therefore, rank of AB equal to rank of A equal to 2. But that one is less than n. So, in that case, system is consistent. System is consistent and it has infinite number of solutions. So with that, this exercise is over. So now hope you have understood how to solve different types of to find different types of solutions using rank method. So with that, exercise 1.6 is over.